Hey guys, this is Sam and today we're going to be taking a quick look at how you jailbreak iOS 8.1.1 using the brand new Taiji jailbreak utility. Of course, right as we jump into it, the first thing you want to do is do a full backup of your device to your computer using iTunes. So just plug your phone in and instead of doing an iCloud backup only where it syncs only your most important data to the cloud, I would highly recommend doing a full backup to your computer just in case some data would be lost, even though it's extremely unlikely that any of your data would be lost during this process. Next up, you wanna head over to your computer if you're not already there and go to taig.com. Once you're there, you will see a download box at the very bottom middle of your screen. You just wanna click on that and wait for the tool to download. I believe it's about 45.9 or 46 megabytes in size. So it'll take a little bit to download depending on the speed of your internet connection. So after it is finished downloading, you might get an issue where it says this is not commonly downloaded. Whatever you do, don't hit discard, click on the arrow next to it and then click on keep. Once you've done this, it should go ahead and launch up your downloads folder and then just double click on the tag break utility. But Windows is once again trying to stop us and if it does this, go ahead and click OK right click on the application and then just hit open one more time and after that it opened right up for me. After you've launched up the Taiji jailbreak utility on your PC, we actually need to head back over to our iOS device. Once again this jailbreak will work on iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. I'm just going to be showing you guys on my iPad Air 2 in this video but if you have a passcode set, you have to go ahead and disable that just like this. So settings, passcode or touch ID and passcode depending what device you're on. Disable your passcode and once you've done that, just one more thing on our device, head over to iCloud, go down to Find My iPhone and make sure you have the Find My iPhone toggle disabled. It'll ask you to enter your password but once you've disabled that toggle and passcode lock is no longer on, we can go ahead back on over to our PC. Now once you've gotten this far, you just want to simply disable the green checkbox right under the text. Cydia 1.1.16. Just make sure you disable that check mark unless you are a Chinese user because this will add a Chinese app store which makes no sense. Uh, it's completely in Chinese and it's just an extra app on your iOS device that you don't really want. So just make sure the Cydia 1.16 box is in fact checked and then go ahead and click the green button right down below and from there the jailbreak process will begin. Hands down, this is probably the simplest jailbreak I've ever done. The new Pangu 8 one was very easy after the kinks were worked out, but this is only version 1.0.2 and it works so smoothly. I have to completely congratulate the Taiji team, I guess you would call them, for this beautiful UI. They have an awesome looking little percentage thing and the line goes around the percentage as the jailbreak continues. It's just so user friendly and it looks just really nice. So. Good job guys on making the user interface awesome. And pretty much just like this, it's either at 90% or 100 already and it's done. It, it, there's a really cool confirmation at the end. It gives you a little green smiley face like, oh, congratulations, your device is now jailbroken. Even though it's just a little touch like that, that it's, it's really cool. I've never seen a jailbreak have a little smiley face at the end like that. As soon as that part has completed, you are done with your computer and you can go ahead and click the little box down below and that will automatically close the program and heading back over to our iPad. I cut out the part where the iPad restarted just because that is part of the process, but after it's done restarting, I didn't want to make you guys wait through that. You can go ahead and slide to unlock your device. Don't forget to re-enable Find My iPhone and your passcode lock now, but there we go. Cydia is sitting very nicely right on the home screen. We can launch that up. And now we just have to wait for a process now longer than the jailbreak of Cydia preparing its file system. So don't worry if this takes over 3 or 4 or possibly even 5 minutes because that's exactly how long it took for me. Of course I don't want to make you guys sit through that so I skip to the part where your device respring's. Go ahead and slide to unlock once again, scroll over to find Cydia on your home screen and there we go guys. As I scroll down to the bottom you can see this is Cydia 1.1.16 running jailbroken on iOS 8.1.1. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like down below and of course subscribe for more jailbreak tweaks, themes, and tutorials just like this. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS and I'll catch you guys in the next one.